Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Good morning, everyone. And greetings from the Heart Labyrinth at the Epiphany Church in beautiful Las Vegas. And it is beautiful this morning. feel empowered in this place for every petition including those petitions named in the Lord's Prayer especially to be not led into temptation and delivered from evil what I'm discovering more and more is that I'm often wrong when I think I'm getting things right often misleading myself when I think I'm really being insightful and the Lord's Prayer keeps me grounded and keeps me seeking of God's correction that I be led to the truth the truth that Jesus says sets us free I'd like to share one of those truths that came to me my usual way. I, I had a wrong conclusion first, and then God had to correct me. I spend a lot of time here on the camp. I hope I'm still there. My phone just disappeared for a second. Anyway, I spent a lot of time here. And late at night, I often would see a little bunny rabbit hopping around this little courtyard area right here. I'd see him at 10, 11 o'clock. It always gave me a nice feeling, just sort of me and the bunny right here at Cactus and Gillespie in southeastern Las Vegas. And one night, I was here really late, um, I've sort of connected with a lot of people all around the world because of a video I was in three years ago. So there's always something to do, even in the street, people to talk to, people to pray with. And I was here really late, it might have been two or three in the morning, and suddenly there's this yiping, and coyotes are making a big noise. And I came out of the church building and I walked over to the lot that we own. We own a lot of acres right here. And the coyotes were making a giant noise of joy. They just made a kill. And before they... And they were singing up. Even the dog next door, who's not the happiest or friendliest dog, he started singing with them, even though he wasn't eating whatever they were eating. And my first thought was, oh, poor rabbit. Thought. The moment I had that thought, it was like a corrective from God that said, this land is a place of joy where there will be much feeding. These empty acres here at Epiphany will be a place where people are fed. And the joy will be loud and true and pure, just like these coyotes. Now, why am I telling this story? Well, I got some good news. And I think I'm not letting any cats out of any bags. That would have been last week if I'd shared this. But now the bishop of the diocese knows it, and the vestry, which is the board of the church, know this, so I'm going to share it. My colleague here at Epiphany, the very Reverend Rick O'Brien, came up with the greatest idea in the history of the church. Hyperbole? No. I am so excited about this, I can't stand it. His great idea was that even with quarantine and the law of lockdown, assembly of more than 10 people or whatever it is right now, that we have a church service here on Easter Day where people stay in their cars 
and we broadcast the service to them via an FM feed, like drive-in theaters switched to over the years. You just tune your car radio in. And he said, and we can line them up here and we can, uh, everybody stays isolated, but when we start, we'll start singing, Jesus Christ is risen today, right? Everybody together, they can sing in their cars. And uh, the way the people of God shout an amen will be to honk the horn a little bit if they want. It's just gonna be incredible. And one of the things Rick first said was, you know that land out there, best spot to use. When, whereas our parking lot trees and planters, and it's a little more broken up. And the land over there where the coyotes eat would be just more user friendly for this. And again, I, the, the theme here is getting things wrong. I thought, Rick, I'd never drive my car over there in the desert and scratch up the bottom of my car on you know, all the desert grass. And he's like, okay, well maybe the parking lot then. You know, going to the positive. As of yesterday, the current plan, which lots of people who really get logistics are on board, is not only will we have the parking lot here, the asphalt filled, but that acre over there, those five acres actually, will be for overflow cars. And a couple from the church, Kathy and Jeff Coleman yesterday came over, they actually own a tractor, cleared out all the desert weeds, it's flat, it's firm, it's beautiful. Three weeks from yesterday, it's going to be Easter. And we are going to, especially this year, with coronavirus fears and all the isolation, we're going to legally and ecclesiastically, with approval, come to this place in Clark County and celebrate the heck out of our risen Lord. It is going to be a day of pure, incredible joy. I'm so looking forward to it. And here's my request. Would you keep this day and spread the good news? As you're talking to heaven in prayer, remember to spread the good news here on earth. Share this post. Let all your friends, your family, let people who don't live in Las Vegas know about this so they can join us in spirit on April 12th when we give God all the glory, all the praise, and we yipe like coyotes with joy for being fed by God.